Hi guys, so I just wanted to talk to you about skin, my skin in particular. So I would say for the past year, maybe over a year, basically in lockdown, my skin was great. And then I don't know if my skin just got used to being at home and not being out in the environment and whatever it is, um, that kind of lifestyle again, my skin just went crazy. So I did a live with Dr. Rami, it's linked in my skincare highlights. Basically I've been talking to her for a while and she's been kind of like helping me deal with my skin. It could also be hormonal, stress, you know, there's been a lot of that. Obviously turning 40 your hormones change and stuff, not just like that overnight but you know over time. Also there has been like a lot of stresses and things like that over the past couple of years. So anyway, I feel like I've now kind of got my skincare routine like down and, and then when there is breakouts or flare-ups I have things to help me kind of sort it out. I've been prescribed uh, a couple of medical grade um, beauty products um, for my skincare routine by Dr. Rami. Um, you can book a consultation with her. I'll put all the details below in the caption. Products, I just want to say if you've got breakouts, flare-ups, like a major skin issues or not even major skin issues but if you're just not happy with your skin definitely speak to a professional to help you like a de you know you need to speak to a dermatologist and kind of nip it in the bud but also you want long-term effects for your skin and second of all i would just say strip back everything and just keep your skincare routine really really simple so i'm just going to show you things in the order that i use them so the first thing i've got is the Clinicept, 490 milliliters. So that's a big bottle and this is literally like 20 pounds. This is prescribed by Dr. Rami, but honestly, it is so good. So I basically use this after I've cleansed my face or come out of the shower and before I go to bed, like basically this is the first thing that goes on my skin after cleansing or washing my face. I basically just get it on a cotton pad. I was kind of just spritzing it on my face and then I was then told to basically get it on a cotton pad and wipe it and literally use it as a toner so it sinks into the skin. And basically this kind of just removes any bacteria from your skin. So anything that then comes into your skin contact with your skin next is basically just clean. I spritz this onto my makeup brushes before and after I've used them. I've got this cleanser from Epi Once and honestly this is such a good cleanser. It's got salicylic acid in it um, so when you feel like you're getting breakouts or if it's like a hormonal breakout this is a good one to have. I don't use this every single day I only use it when I feel like my skin is breaking out and this just helps. Also, I kind of use this as a spot treatment as well. I'll cleanse my face and then if I've got breakouts like around my chin, my cheeks, whatever, I will use this as a spot treatment and just keep it on while I'm working out or sometimes just overnight. Um, it's so good. Also, I forgot to say with this, before I work out, I spritz my face with this as well. So again, it just protects my skin from like the sweat and bacteria from when you're working out. Same brand, Epi Once or Epionce, maybe it's supposed to be Epionce. This is the Renewal Calming Cream. So for a good probably four or five years ago, I was sent a mini one of these and it helped with really dry skin and it helped with, um, Aria had some eczema, so it was really good for that as well. But this, so basically some other products I'm gonna show you in a minute, which again have been prescribed because they're medical grade and the medical grade, they get quite deep in and they're basically your acids it can really really dry out your skin and um, with me i sometimes get like a bit eczema prone skin so this is so good to kind of just like really really lock in that hydration you know when you've had like a nasty breakout or you've had a reaction to something and you just have those like awful dry patches on your skin and your skin feels really really tight this is really good and this is also actually really good to use on eczema as well but it's just really good so i'll show you how i use this you can just use this as a moisturizer throughout the day um but also so i've been using two things that have been prescribed by dr amy so i've got the tretinoin and this is 0.05 percent so it's a stronger tretinoin and then i have got the azelic acid so i don't use them together i and I literally, so now I now use the tretinoin two to three times a week, 
but because my skin tends to get quite dry I'll basically kind of like sandwich it in between moisturizers so if my skin's really really dry I'll use this first and then this and I'll kind of like sandwich another moisturizer on top the alizinic acid I kind of only use this now as kind of like a spot treatment so if I'm getting breakouts I'll kind of put this on and it dries out the spots so well and the blemishes disappear so quickly but it also dries out my skin so that's why I then use this. Products that I've been using that have literally transformed and changed my skin and been prescribed by dermatologists and Dr. Amy basically. And then there's another couple of things I just wanted to quickly tell you that I've been using, which I, I always ask before I'm gonna start using anything new on my skin, I always ask Dr. Amy. So I got the Foreo Blue Light Therapy device. And honestly, this is so good for breakouts and acne and troubled skin. And actually, I was told that when I use this, I could, this is again, so I basically use this first after cleansing um, and then I put on the Clinisept. But this actually helps, um, the light therapy actually helps your products to go even deeper um, and work better. So this has been really good. It goes without saying, whether you're using medical grade products or acids or whatever you're using, make sure you're using SPF on top of anything. Obviously, I am not a dermatologist, but if you've got any questions, just let me know and um, I'll leave all the details below.